Hello, hello. My name is Prue or Prue Luru and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I wanted to share with you my makeup haul and my things I got for Christmas. I'm hoping I won't go for too long. I just, I really, I love sharing, and I love sharing all the things I got with you. And I love hearing any thoughts you have about them. I promise the mess behind me is moving. I've been working on it. But I just, I really wanted to sit down and film this and then like, you know, put everything away. Let's start off. So while I was filming this look earlier, my Sephora order arrived. My Sephora order arrived. So this was a Boxing Day sale order where they had 30% off some items and I really have been wanting to try this. Uh, Annette's from Annette's Makeup Corner. She said she has these and she loves them and they were 30% off. I think they're now 50% off. So if you are thinking of getting them, get them. Like, Let's put one on because I'm excited. I didn't actually realize these were going to be so glittery. I just wanted to try them. All right, so I'm going to put pink tourmaline on. Pink tourmaline. Oh, that's pretty. All right. These are fun to have, and I love having them in minis. That's just super fun. I also picked up, so if you do remember from my Glaminatrix video, I was storing them in this container, which is huge, because they don't fit in the Inglot palette, because they are overfilled. I did it, the owner of Glaminatrix did reach out to me because she watched my video, and she said that she likes to say that there's, she, she puts over two grams of product in there, which means they have more. So from Makeup Forever, I got a refillable makeup system, and because I like how sleek it is. And because I'm impatient, I've already put the Glaminatrix shades in. I just wanted to know if they fit, and they do. There's no extra shades. Like, they're not coming off on the mirror. And just how cute is this? She also saw what happened to this shade. Look how beat up that little fella is. And she is apparently setting me a new replacement shade. And she says she uses the MAC M401 for her, like for her swatches or eyeshadows and I've looked that shade up it's a flat shader brush which isn't something I would usually use for that but when the new shade arrives I'll sit down and do another look with all of these she says she's gonna surprise me I'm really excited to try these and look just look how cute this packaging is all right I'm just gonna push system voila so that was, this little kit was eight bucks, which is pretty reasonable. I like it. It's for fitting in that particular shade. I now know exactly which one they're in and it's much, just makes me happy. And then I also picked up the Makeup Forever Step 2 Mist and Fix Spray in a Travel Size. I did have this, but it got knocked over and spilt out on my desk and I did like it. I really want to do a comparison between this one and my fave, the D6 spray, and see which one is like better for my own entertainment. So I did also pick up um, like a sample pack of the Marc Jacobs Shameless Foundation. All right, so I'm curious to try this, but you can see it got a bit messy, and that is because I got this sample of the Dior. Oh, I think I used my points for this. The Dior Backstage one. I don't even understand how they've packaged it because look at this mess. What a, was it a container once? Yeah, it was. It was a glass container. Oh, there we are. That's the lid. <laughs> so it just completely smashed. Um, that's just going to go straight in the bin right now. But it made a bit of a mess. And for once in my life, didn't opt. For the bag. Uh, they had 50% off on the Anastasia Beverly Hills glitters. Now I have this one in pink sapphire and I love it. It's really finely milled, easy, easy to use. But these were 50% off in store. I can't see them online in that same stale. But if you are going into store at Sephora in Australia, the only see if you can pick these up. 16 bucks for these kind of glitters is well worth it. I also picked up the Tarte Shape Tape. 
I've got the shade Light. Uh, this released in Australia just recently, so I've used it once, I like it so far. It's very exciting. Um, moving on, so when I was in Adelaide, I ducked by uh, Priceline and they had a sale on some of the NYX products. They've like fully sealed them up. So I'm sorry, I'm not going to pull those out, but I've just got a red and a violet liner. I'm slowly collecting the whole collection of those liners. I just, I like having multiple colours in them. I need to, I'm actually really nervous to get back to putting liner on my face. I took, it, took a huge break from it and now I'm just worried. Anyway, Mecca also at the moment have a huge sale. I went in there the other day and there's not much from the sale range I was really interested in, but Mecca Maxima had, I think, Mecca Cosmetica stuff in store. So I hadn't seen this before, I hadn't seen it, or I just, I would have ignored it. But they have, I think, three different versions of this. This is the Athletica edit. edit. They have the Party Girl edit and the Travel edit. And what is in, inside this little box, which I can throw right now. Um, it's one of those like beautifully feeling bags. I just, I love the feel of these ones. And we've got some fabric hair ties. Oh, sorry, this is half priced. So from 75 to 30, and it was $37. I got, I chose this because it had blotting papers in this funny container. Oh, it's got like a sponge. Huh. And I just like, oh, that's really handy actually. All right. I bought it because it had this, but the main reason I bought it was because it had more than my sunscreen. Because I think this is usually like, I feel like this is $18. So I was like, oh, $37 and I get other stuff. That's exciting. And the blooding papers, they got me. So, let's see how oily I am right now. Whoa. I'm sorry if I've just been a full shine fest on your, on your monitor or whatever device you are watching me on. <laughs> anyway. Um, and we're going away later. So it came with, I had two little containers that I thought were handy. They look, they're a bit filth. And they're stiff. Hmm. I found when I was away in Adelaide I just really missed my face cleanser and I missed my con hair like my shampoo and conditioner so I'm gonna get some small containers I might just hit up Daiso and see if they have better containers than these but I just I realized I'm very I'm very into the products that I have I like them a lot and I got some Mecca Cosmetica is it water micellar water I mean it's a cute little container um I don't know. And a uh, makeup bag, which uh, you'll see is a bit of a theme. Definitely wasn't a reason that I purchased this. So I got an uh, order from Bombshell Cosmetica. Just watch it. It came in like, has a cute sticker, but it came in this really shitty, yeah. It came in this super shitty yellow packaging. And if you follow their Instagram stories, they have those really adorable cute boxes. I was actually really looking forward to a cute box. That's not what I got. It. Anyway, so I've got the Hubba palette. Which I don't think I've, I've like opened it once for the gram. Oh, that definitely has a bit of a smell. Yeah, that smells like Hubba Bubba gum. That's quite fun. I'm wearing the Sour Blast on my eyes at the moment. I am kind of looking forward to dipping into this one. It's got some fun colours going on. And I also got the Sour Blast. So I bought these in a pre-order and they were half price. Like, so they're normally 50 US and they were 25 US each and then postage and stuff. So this is the Sour Blast. They're, they're nice palettes. I don't know if I'd spend $50 US on them. Um, just the fact like they don't have a mirror. The shipping was exceptionally slow. I know it was a pre-order but it wasn't well they weren't very clear like when the pre-order was going to come. At least like, bless tribe, tell you when they're going to be sending it out. So this is the Monaza palette that I picked up from Blush tribe. Theirs actually came in this, I did save it, this beautiful shiny green package. I love that. And this has a fun pattern on this. This ended up being a controversial palette, I think pretty much because of the owner. Uh, she just got really offended that people didn't like it. Didn't like the colour story. 
I solely ordered this because I was ordering the Paulina palette and these were coming out at the same time and I was curious to try the formula. I know the Hesina 2 is well loved but you know um I was just feeling lazy. So I got the Paulina palette. I'm excited to play with this one. I know I should. It's beautiful. It's really nice. I do like it. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful colour story. I can't wait to dig into this one and play around. I'm just uh, obviously a little bit overwhelmed at the moment with eyeshadow palettes because one more came. And these guys, these guys packed it up so beautifully. Look at that fragile sticker, white box. And it was from... What? Okay, a palette. What's in there? Oh, I didn't know it had sparkly diamonds in there. That's fun. And I have my own favorite little, my little pictures of Angelica's eye. I'm actually, I'm curious. I actually do want to really try out these eye looks that Angelica did for this palette. I think it could be really fun. Uh, let me know if you'd like to see a video on that or if I should just do it on my own time. And if you remember me ages ago saying how I didn't want to buy this palette because I wasn't sure how I would feel the painting and pre-orders like generally piss me off. So <laughs> I attempted doing a lot of pre-orders and um, yeah they did piss me off. But I'm very happy to have this and I spent ages, I know, I think I annoyed the shit out of Annette like being ummy and ahhing if I wanted this palette or not. Because I was like, do I want it? Do I not? She was like, if you're like this obsessed about it, like just buy it. So I have this palette in my collection finally. It is bumpy. There's a lot more glittery than you can see, I think. And it's got holes in the back so you can depot it. It's a hand painted design. Um. And the, the shades are nice. I'm looking forward to playing this. The names came separate on one of these things. I'm now realizing that there's no mirror in this one as well. How do you feel about mirrors and palettes? Should they all have them? This palette, I believe, is like 70 Canadian dollars, which is about like about 70 Australian dollars. I wouldn't expect a mirror. I'd love to know what you think about mirrors. Um, please let me know. I've just been thinking about it a lot, playing with the Bombshell Cosmetica palette, how much I would like a mirror. So, I don't know. I'm glad to have this one. I think this is quite a unique palette. They're going to do one more release of it. I'm curious to play with it. Um, and yeah, it. I think it's pretty much kind of like what I expected it to be, but I can't come up with any opinions until I play with it. They were lovely. Um, I think I posted on Instagram and the first thing they asked was like, did it arrive safely? I was like, yes, it did. Because I, <laughs> I wrote this. I was such a little shit. I don't know if you can read it. But this is what I wrote. Um, and it's pretty please wrap this precious card go up tightly. I've wanted this palette for so long and it would be and would be devastated if it arrived broken. I have faith in your packing, but I just wanted to make sure. I can't wait to try this. I'm like, no worries, we'll wrap it well. And they did. They like they're lovely. Really sweet. Um I really like the way they package it. I'm I'm super I'm curious to play with it. <laughs> That's all I have to say about it. Let's show you some of the stuff I got for Christmas. Um, let me know what you got. If you got like what you got for Christmas, do you get anything cool? Um, I love Christmas presents. Um, like my favorite thing in the world. Anyway, I'll start off. So my sister-in-law is a really talented pottery maker. Um, she made me this gorgeous mug, and look, she has put in Prue as a darling. Uh, darling's actually my last name, by the way. <laughs> But how gorgeous is this? I am obsessed. It's so cute. I can't wait. I'm you'll probably see me drinking with it soon. I then demanded more products. I do have another one that she made me last year. And I put my scissors in it. So she made this last year and gave it to me. And I love this. It's so handy. I just have my tweezers and scissors in it. So I really wanted a new thing like that and she had this laying around for me. 
which is just a beautiful I think I'm gonna put bobby pins in it and then she was also getting rid of this and it's a uh, just a bowl so I'm gonna try I really want to use this in my makeup area so you can putting samples in it maybe like the packet samples or something like that I'm not sure what do you think would go well in it she is I think she hasn't set up like her wheel at home yet but it's on the cards to do and let I mean let me know let me know what you think of her pottery stuff is like is it good <laughs> is this something you'd buy in store um she's very much a perfectionist so uh, yeah I know she'd love to hear anything that you had to say about it I decided that because I like makeup a lot of people will buy me uh, makeup bags how cute is this one stand tall darling very adorable and my mum got me an Oriton fancy pants one for travel which I am to be honest I'm a bit intimidated to use <laughs> just I don't want to ruin it and look look how nice it is but um, my sister-in-law I did actually ask her for some earrings because I'm the worst at wearing them as I do that to put my ears I can see I have no earrings on she got me she's and she's very I love the things that she chooses out uh, one of the handbags that I use is the only one that I've been using for like three years now and she got it for me so she got me these really cool earrings yeah like check these fellas out so I just I love her style and I love the way that she yeah I really like them I'll put them in the box now. Um, my sister was gonna buy me and my partner like an experience in Dubai but it's not on when we're going through there because we're just doing a stop off so she got me some earrings too um, <laughs> and she was disappointed that I wasn't wearing them straight away so I'm sorry but these are beautiful I did put them on I will wear them soon I just I have a bit of a fight with them my ears are pierced but because I like wearing headbands I end up adjusting the headband a lot and I flick the earrings out a lot and um yeah I'm just I'm not very good at wearing earrings for long periods of time but they do look really good so I'm trying to try and work on my earrings this year that sounds so stupid doesn't it um and this lovely little bag I got so this is from the big tomato company um my mum got this for me and it's super cute she loves just getting me stuff that has my name on it I, just, I mean I'm not complaining but look is that the right way no Prudence so my full name is actually Prudence by the way but I go by Prue my sister also got me oh I didn't actually look at this close a uh, Lancome Paris set she said I um yeah she really just wanted me to have good mascara again I didn't actually open this up because I was like oh I'll, I'll do it at home and now I'm just making a mess so it's got the hypnos doll eyes mascara which is one of my sister-in-law's and my sister's favorite mascaras and I don't get how I'm meant to get these see these products ah what is this Uh, La Salut La Cure. Oh, Lip La Cure, that's fun. And a uh, cold pencil. Aha! So I've had these before, these are nice. I'm excited to try this mascara some more. I really wish I could think of a way to do like mascara battles or something on my channel. Mm, I'm still trying to figure out what, what how I want to approach it. This present made me laugh so much and if you can see the box you're like oh yes what is it oh look a Tiffany and Co and look how big this box is it is like the size of my head so you would uh, rightfully think this is gonna be <laughs> something bigger or maybe you've bought this stuff before I got, my mum got me some Tiffany cups um, I'm not mad at all but, um, 
I think I was expecting something else when I But these are super cute. I love them. It's such a cute little gift. I have problem boxes, so I'm keeping it. And my partner bought me this very fancy microphone for my videos. Um, I'm not using it today. The problem I found out is that it's a USB microphone, so it needs to be plugged in. Oh, sorry. It's a USB microphone, so it needs to be plugged into a computer to record to that, or like it can be the iPad Pro or something like that. So, yeah, it doesn't plug directly into the camera, but apparently microphones that plug directly into the camera ruins the audio quality a bit, so I'm just, I'm on the fence how I'm feeling about the microphone. It's been a bit more, uh, a bit more work than I thought it would be, but that's okay. I'll try and make it work. Um, I kind of don't mind, I don't mind if I got like, um, I was thinking of getting the Surface Pro and then having that hooked up in here might be fun. Just, sometimes my audio does really annoy me, so I don't mind, I wouldn't mind having better audio at all. My mum also got me this funny book, uh, The Witches, Salem 191692. So I'm curious to read this, uh, she usually does choose some pretty good books for me. And finally, my mum got me this lovely bag and um, it hilariously turns into a backpack so you can wear it. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, it turns into a backpack. <laughs> she has one of these and she loves it. She's like going around with her little like handbag backpack thing everywhere. She thought it'd be really nice for a trip. Um, it's definitely, it's definitely unique. I'm glad to have it in my collection. I'm unsure when I'm going to use it though, to be honest. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my shopping makeup mega like haul plus my Christmas goodies. Uh, let me know what you got for Christmas. If you're new here, feel free to uh, subscribe if you so desire. Um, like, I hope you had an amazing Christmas New Year. I hope the New Year is being kind to you. Uh, anyway, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate Anna Doyle. Mwah.